Hello, my name is Eddie Toffig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your weekly technical analysis of LME 3 Math Nickel and Zinc. I'll start with LME 3 Math Nickel. A second week now of relative calm after the gyrations of March. The market has filled in the gap left from late March and seems happy at the moment to stay there in between the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 33,860, that is overhead, and the 61.8% Fibonacci line at, 60, at uh, 32,250 of the same move, that is below, even though we have the possibility of a daily key reversal down today. Meanwhile, we also have the 50% Fibonacci line of the 2020 to date move in amongst the mix at 32,945. This acts, or it seems to be acting, more as an attractor these days. So what may be next? Well, it seems there is a marked reluctance to move prices down to the next support area that starts from the April 2011 high at 27,955 and stretches down to the late March low at 27,020. At the same time, attempts high have been blocked by the 50% Fibonacci line at 33,860 with no consecutive closes over this level. And each time it has been tested these past two weeks, we've seen an abrupt move lower in the next session. However, nothing stays the same forever, and we now have the rising short medium moving average currently at 28,190 entering the frame from below, with the medium moving average currently 24,615 also moving higher, though obviously at a slower pace. The short medium moving average may take a few weeks to get up to where the market is currently sitting, but this might well be a trigger event. Eh, we shall see. LME 3 month zinc. The last two times, and this time as well, I chose in part at least to take a step back and look at the monthly charts for my weekly commentary rather than the usual daily charts as at the same time a better picture could be seen and the context was also clearer. I noted a significant pattern that is still in operation plus a possible second pattern that may have been forming. The principal pattern was the 2016 to 2020 bullish Andrews pitchfork with the market moving up in March over the middle time, currently at 39.39. The next pattern, the one that may still be in operation if you ignore part of March's actions, was after all just a day, is a 2020 to date possible ascending expanding wedge pattern, currently 33.85 to 45.73. Now, I know you have to ignore part of March's actions to still think this valid, specifically the breach of the upper trend line. But to be fair, on a monthly basis, it has been breached on the upside, though with no closes outside as yet. Hence, this pattern may well still be valid. Stepping back now to the daily chart, you can see that the origin of the latest moves higher had been the monthly key reversal made in December last year. Monthly key reversal up, as you can see. Even now, I feel this is still worth highlighting as this is the latest episode in the moves higher since March 2020. So what have we seen recently on the daily chart? Well, two Fridays ago and during the first part of last week, as well as this week, we've seen prices test the upper time currently at 43.16 of the very significant breached but seemingly still valid August to October 2021 bullish shift pitchfork. This pitchfork has been showing the bullish angle of attack prior to the big attempt higher made on that single day of the 8th of March. Which is why I've still kept this bullish shift pitchfork still on my daily chart. So far, we've only had single non-consecutive closes over it. But the market recognizes it as a significant resistance and is pounding it to see if it will break. Looking below, we have support in the 42.50 area and at the 20.07 high at 41.64 as well as 42.14. But then nothing much um, until the October, sorry, let me rephrase that, it wasn't 42.14, it was 41.14. Nothing much until October 2021 high at 39.44. Meanwhile, overhead, we have the newly drawn middle time of the late February to late mid-March acute bullish shift pitchfork. And that's currently at 45.57. That is just before the upper trend line of the previously mentioned breached ascending wedge pattern. That's currently at 45.73. 
Now interesting to see if the upper tie gives way or holds strong. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs>